Hi patrons, thanks for joining me today, very much appreciated. Um, today, this was a, a photograph I took um, last weekend up in a bar beacon and I was lucky that uh, unusually the, the, the sun come out, believe it or not. So we've got some nice shadows in the foreground here to work with, which I've tried to replicate there in the painting. Um, let me show you the, the photo close up. So. I was stood a little bit further back from this. I've zoomed into this scene so that it's not perfect definition, but it's by far enough to use for a painting. Um, so like I say, I was looking that the sun came out. So we've got some nice shadows here to work with. So let me show you the colours I've used for this one. I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. They're all Cutman watercolours and as, as, as is often, um, the larger on Ranton Hake is uh, the brush of choice and then I've just used the two rigger brushes, a number three and a size zero. Right, let's get cracking. I'm going to start off very very light background There's, there, there ain't much going on there at all is that so it's just hint of something through the trees and then I'm gonna go into a bit of let's clean the brush actually because that green was a little bit dirty so it's a bit of, bit of yellow there so I can just about see some of going on around there. I'm just going to sort of block in there's a whole load of foliage and stuff on there. Let's block this in first. We're sort of coming down there. Just little darker sections in there as well. Back to the green. And sort of Something like that. And on the other side, a little bit of green on that side as well. And then some of those trees I can see between. Between the foliage. Let's just start putting a few of these in. Barely see some of them right in there. Sort of bleached out by the sun. Um, and as we get a little bit closer, I'm just mixing a bit of light red and ultramarine. Bit close, they're going to get a little bit stronger. Massive twigs and branches and things going on up there. Um, I think what I'm going to do. the paint let's actually just, just do it now I'm just gonna do it now there's that big trunk there I'll come back to that in a bit this one. I've got some big trunks pressing down quite hard to get a broad stroke. Just red and blue. I 
and there's another one just next to it and a whole load of twigs and branches and things coming off this I'll just pop these in before I start doing the foliage back to the green let's get this flat before I go any further nice and flat To the rigger brush, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a touch of yellow in there as well. And I'm just popping in these ones a little bit closer, a bit stronger. Pop some on that side as well. Now then, I'm gonna. A bit of burnt on the inside. I want these all like that for now. Clean the brush. I'm going back to the rigger. Bit of brown, bit of blue, bit of red. Just suggesting a few twigs and things growing in there. I'll probably put a bit, little bit more foliage in, I think. A 
little bit of light red. I'm just going to put a hint of something there in the background. Now, this foreground now, it's, it's sort, of, sort of light red. I just want it nice and light though, because of... Because I want the shadow to show up pretty well. some of these it's quite dark down this section I don't want to get too mad with it right let's get that get it flat and then I'm going to dry it and I've just got that other tree to put in Give that a quick dry. Foliage over the top of this in a minute. Um, what I might do is just use a bit of fresh, fresh yellow out of the uh, out of the tube. Just squeeze a bit of yellow out. So I'm just going to dry the brush, just pushing it against the air. Uh, let's just do it the easy way. Just squeeze the, the water out on the tea towel. Let's just dip that into the corner and then.
So I'll get in there slowly. Um, I might pop a few shadows in there, these foreground shadows. So let's clean the brush. I'll stick a bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue. Mix those together. Mix them thoroughly. Right, so I'm th I want sort of shadows straight across there like that. Something like that, I think. A few more darks amongst that little bit there. Just soak that up at the bottom so it doesn't accumulate. It's got a little reservoir of water down there. Right then, so I'm just going to switch to the little rigger brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of that shadow colour and just I'm just trying to get this to scale. somewhere unless I stick in. Bit, I'm going to call that one done I think. I'll just sign that down there. Call that one finished. Right let's stick a mount on that now see what it looks like. So here's the finished painting. So if we compare it to the photograph, I've kept most of the, the elements in, in the same place. I haven't messed about with the composition at all really. Try to stay true to the to the the way the elements are placed within the scene. Did this tree. There was a bit of light, you can see the light on there, so I did this one slightly different to how I normally do. Rather than just block them in, I sort of took took it out with a dry hike. And then just add a little bit of colour, just a little bit of raw sienna and a little bit of burnt umber, just to give it a little bit of form. So that one sort of stays light, whereas the, the darker shadowy ones in the in the foreground, like these lighter ones there, I've put, I've put in a bit darker in tone. So I was lucky really, I, th I think this was sort of on my way back as I was walking and, and the sun came out, just gave us these nice shadows here across the foreground, which gave me some some light to play with and it's worked out quite well really put the the path in the sort of track really really light just very very light light red and then just brush the shadows over the top just so they stand out nicely 
I could have gone a little bit darker in the shadows, but I was a bit weary that I did a painting last week. Um, and I had a bit of nice variation and then just went too dark and just completely ruined it. So I've kept it, I kept the tones like that. I think that's enough. There's obviously, you can see where the shadows are. They don't have to be as dark as they are here, for instance. Um, that's, I think that was dark enough, really. And then where the, the leaves are just catching the light here, I've just brushed those ones in. Just a bit of neat paint, fresh straight out the tube. And then when the was, brush was almost empty, then I've just dabbed, dabbed, dabbed all the way around where I knew not much paint wasn't going to come off. Just to add a bit of background, a little bit of background right in the distance there. And then there's no people in the in the painting, but I thought in the in the reference, but I thought I'd just stick a little couple there walking off into the light. So I hope you like that little um, impression up uh, up Bar Beacon. Um, Many thanks as always for your support. Keep posting your own paintings on the community page. It's great to see so many on there. If you have any questions, please ask. And until next time, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>